one of the common jobs you have to do with a shower is replace the shower head holder. This is a sliding bracket here. It often breaks, I think, just because the plastic hardens over the years. And it's a fairly simple job again. However, one of the things that you really need to start with is the, to know the diameter of the rail. These are normally 18, 19, 22 and 25 mil. So what you really got to do is, I say, just measure the diameter here very carefully. It can be quite hard to judge, but it's usually easily and easy enough to, to work out. And so you need to know the diameter of this rail, and then we can order the correct sliding bracket. Now, to do this job, what you must do is to remove the bottom bracket here, so that the bracket slides down and off. Now, there's one or two different types of bottom bracket. I'll show you how these are fixed now. Okay, so the, the bottom brackets are usually got some kind of cover over them to hide, this, the, hide the fixing screws. This is one of the fairly simple ones. You just pull this end bit off here. It's usually a case of a small screwdriver or your fingernail in. Um, the, there's this type here that fits on the wall like this. Have a look. There's often a space for a screwdriver to slip up the back and underneath. And it's really just a case with this one, pulling the cover off like that. Uh, also another fairly common one. Um, this one, ah, this one, the brackets on the front here, and it's just very much, very similar to this. It's really just a case of prising the cover off, and you'll find the screw in there. The cover goes back on quite a tight on that. Um, slightly different shape, this kind of shape here. This is a bit more difficult to get into, but there's a small slot for a screw in here. I don't know if you can see it, not for a screw, sorry, for a screwdriver. And it's really just a case of getting it. When it's in this position, putting the screwdriver up the back, pushing it in here, levering it off, and there you have the fixing screws like that for that type. And one more, this type of bracket here, the, the fixing screws are in here and the, the, this covers the, the screw holes. This is a slightly more difficult one to get into because there's no obvious way to get the screwdriver in. It's really just a case of it, prising this apart with a screwdriver, getting the screwdriver in here, in that edge, and it'll peel apart like that. And um, and so therefore you can get back into the fixing holes and pop the thing back together once you've put the, shoe, the, the new bracket on. We'll now go and fit the new shower bracket. We'll now proceed and fit the new bracket. So as I said before, we're really just a case of moving this cap, taking this up here and bringing the bracket down and sliding it off. Now you can undo the bottom bracket or indeed the top bracket, it really doesn't matter. You might find at the bottom one the screws, if they put the wrong type of screw and the screw's gone rusty. So top or bottom, it makes no odds, whichever's easiest, or if whichever's got the slackest screw. The screw will be in here somewhere, like that. Some of them, as you saw before, have screw holes for more than one screw. However, it's just a case of removing the screw, like that, slipping the bracket off, and then taking, removing the old, the old bracket. Now before you put the new bracket on, one of the things to be, that is important is to make sure you have it the right way up. It's very difficult to see, but with this you can see that the hose, the, um, the cone of the hose fits in nicely. Um, if you were to try and put this in upside down, like that, you find that the cone doesn't fit. And then you're wondering why the, uh, the, shower hose, the, new, the old shower hose doesn't fit the new bracket. It's because you've got this bit upside down. So it's really just it turning it around and making sure it's in the correct way. And so all we need to do now is pop this new bracket back up, like so, and then refix the wall bracket. As I said before, top or bottom, it doesn't really matter. Screw goes in there. Oops. No, it doesn't. Screw goes in here. And through. Well, somebody might get a laugh at that going in. You're putting the bracket in upside down, but I'm just trying to get the screw into the existing hole. There we go. Tighten the screw back up against the wall, nice and tight. Refit the cap. There's often a, a lug on the cap to make sure you have it pushed in the correct place. Shower head back on, bracket up, and that's it. Shower bracket fitted. that for that type and um, one more I lost it <laughs> it's over here <laughs>